So I'm laying in bed last night, and I'm thinking about you know, how this conversation is going to play out and really how to wrap things up. And something just kept running through my head over and over and over and over, and it was, what were you born to do? What were you born to do? What were they born to do? What were they born to do? And you can call it intuition, energy. I would call it the Holy Spirit. I've just learned that I don't ignore when I've been prompted that way. So I literally got up out of bed. It's like 11 o'clock at night last night. I got out of bed, went to my basement, just started writing. And I typed something out over about a 45 minute period. And this complex topic of what were you born to do or how do we figure out what we were born to do all of a sudden became so clear to me. And so I want to be vulnerable with you guys and just read it because there's somebody here today I know without a shadow of a doubt that needs to hear it. And I want to read it because I don't want one single word missed that could be the difference that it makes for that person and making sure that this absolutely sinks in. Figuring out what you were born to do is not easy. There's so much confusion out there, so much noise, conflicting opinions on passion, purpose, potential. No wonder we're so lost. I'd like to offer you a new perspective as we close today. God given. It means possessed without question, as if by divine authority. In a world full of distraction, confusion, and uncertainty, how would it feel to possess without question? Confident, hopeful, secure. So what is God given? Your gifts. I challenge you today to start viewing your world through this progression. Gifts, purpose, potential, and passion. Only when you operate out of your gifts will you realize your purpose in life. Remember, they're possessed without question. Regardless of your beliefs in a higher power, you must understand that you were not placed on this earth by accident. You were given a finite period of time here for a purpose. And that purpose will require you to use your gifts to reach your full potential. And guess what happens when you're chasing your gifts, living life on purpose, and reaching your full potential. Guess what starts to emerge and begins to grow like a wildfire? Passion. But so many of us, we chase passion. But passion is not possessed without question. Passion is not God-given. Passion isn't something you have, it's something you develop. Starting with something that you do not possess will always lead to frustration. Judging your purpose, judging your potential on the wrong purpose, will always lead to frustration. But our gifts are God-given, possessed without question. So that's where we start. Once you've realized your gifts, you have to share them. I understand that not everybody's built with this innate desire to be in the spotlight. But the best way to create the maximum impact is to share your gifts with the world. You see, I'm not afraid of dying. I'm just afraid of not living up to my full potential. So I want you to imagine lying on your deathbed and standing next to you is the ghost of your gifts. The version of you that lived life on purpose and reached your full potential staring at you as if to say, I was there the entire time. Look what we could have accomplished. Look at the impact that we could have made. My greatest fear is that surrounding my bed will not be the, the ghost of my gifts, but it'll be the ghost of yours because I didn't share mine. I get it, life is hard, success is hard, but guess what, so is failure. And regret is devastating. Reality, the majority of people will die having lived a life of mediocrity. Is that the legacy that you want? If you died today, what gifts would die with you? 
So I heard a story the other day about planes. Most people have a fear of flying, but did you know that it's actually more dangerous for a plane to stay on the ground? On the ground, the plane starts to rust, malfunction, and wear way faster than if it were in the air. But if you think about it, it makes sense. Because planes were built to be in the sky. Flying is their gift, possessed without question. See, each of us were built to live out the gifts that we have inside of us. So it is perhaps the saddest loss to live a life on the ground without ever taking off. Thank you.